Hello everyone, my name is Levi Sheridan. I have completed my first year of mechanical engineering at the Cooper Union in Manhattan, and I am currently on gap year due to Corona. I decided to spend my year saving up money to purchase equipment for an investment casting setup, and this is what that video is about. So I just wanted to share the machines I have acquired for my setup over the last month or so two months of working um, and I, uh, I have some 3D printers already which I'll be using to produce the wax models that I will be casting uh, but this video I wanted to make to share the machines with you that I have acquired. Uh, I'm really happy with them and I, uh, this is kind of the first step for me in my journey of investment casting and I'm, I'm really excited to get started and I just wanted to share. These are the three machines that I have been saving up for and have recently acquired, which I'm very excited about. Uh, so we have three machines, two furnaces, one on the left and one on the right, and one vacuum system in the middle. Uh, so starting on the left, we have the Tabletop Furnace Company Burnout Oven. I don't have the exact information with me now, but I'll put it down below in the description uh, for all of the machines. Uh, but we have a nice latch on the left. The door swings open very nicely. The whole thing is very well made, uh, thick metal. Uh, it has a handle, very solid. Uh, so inside it has a nice coil. It goes all the way around and it's protected by this material so your flask will not hit the coils. It has the thermistor and the heating element there. Uh, so there's the thermistor heating element and it has a nice vent hole. Uh, so any of the gases during the burnout process will be able to safely escape through there. It has a nice PID controller, a uh, cooling fan. That's pretty much it. It's really well made, uh, high quality. It was expensive, but I think it will be worth it in the long run. It will last a long time and it will do its job well. In the middle, we have the dual use vacuum system. So this has two purposes. The first purpose is to basically get all the air out of the liquid plaster before you pour it into the, in, before you pour it into the flask with the mold in it. Uh, the objective behind this is to reduce the amount of surface bubbles that stay in the liquid and attach to the, the surface of the object you're trying to cast. Ultimately, its objective is to get you high quality surface finish, eliminate the bubbles in the, the mold uh, as effectively as possible. So you would mix the plaster, suck out the air, pour the plaster into the mold and then suck out the air again. And that's from what I've heard the best way to try to eliminate any kind of bubbles in your mold. Unfortunately, the, the stem broke off, uh, but I contacted the company that I purchased this from and they said hopefully I will be able to get a new one in the mail soon. Uh, on the right side, I don't know exactly what this call is, the, what this part is called, but it, it basically is a vacuum system for when you pour the metal into the flask. So this is a nice perforated flask. It came with the system. Uh, it came with a ver various adapter plates as well, so you can use different sized flasks. Veg oil guy has a great video I'll link below uh, reviewing his version of this system he has the i have the generic version this is just some knockoff he has the name brand i believe it's called kaya vest system and he does a great review so i'll put that below you can kind of watch the whole video but it came with these plates and these gaskets really nice uh just one flask uh but basically once you have poured your plaster into the mold and you've burnt out the the plastic or wax part you basically lower this in using these not with your hand uh, this would be off at that point. I'm just keeping that there to keep dust out. Uh, but you would have your hole where you'd pour the metal in, you'd get your liquid metal and you'd pour it in and activate the vacuum, which would suck from the holes and from the bottom and basically push the metal into the mold through the difference in pressure created by the vacuum and the atmospheric pressure outside. Apparently this works very well and you get very high quality casting so i'm very excited to use it came with this sprue base as well uh which is nice i don't know a little a little strange looking but it probably will get the job done apart from uh that not working or being broken rather uh hopefully i can get that fixed everything looks pretty nice it has a nice gauge here turn that off it's not plugged in though um nice clicking vacuum selector so you could release the vacuum you could say I want to suck air out of here or you want to suck air out of there and you just select it with that valve. 
It didn't come with vacuum oil, which I'm okay with. Probably would have been pretty cheap, so I'll get myself some good vacuum oil and hopefully it will work well. I haven't tested it yet, uh, but once I get that replaced, hopefully it will be in top shape. And then moving on to the right, we have our metal melting furnace. So this is the least expensive out of all of them. That, I don't remember exactly how much it was, but this was $606. That was wrapped around this, so expensive. This was about $230 or something like that, and it came with some gloves and these. This came with this, um, but it came with this and some gloves and a crucible, which was unfortunately cracked, and the company uh, I purchased through eBay, so I contacted them, and they were nice and said they were going to send me a new crucible. Uh, I don't think it's non-functional, which is good, so now I'll have two crucibles, but I did pay for a new crucible, and that is not what I got. I got a cracked crucible, so they'll hopefully be sending me a new one. I haven't tested this yet. This is the least expensive product out of all of them, so I am the most concerned for its quality and consistency, but from what I've seen on YouTube, these work fairly well. Uh, I mean, obviously, it depends on how you treat it and take care of it, but I think it will work well for a little bit. Uh, it has a PID controller as well, just on and off switch. Uh, the coils are embedded, so you can't see them. I believe they're replaceable, so I, you could, should be able to open it and, uh, and replace them if you need to, but it has a nice lid. It fits well. I mean, I, I can't complain. Uh, it's funny, it says electric metal melting furnace, Italy. All of the instructions are in Chinese, uh, so I, I don't know. Uh, you can take that for what you want, but yeah, hopefully this works. So this will melt the metal that I would then pour into the mold, which would sit there. This is the most logical setup I've thought in terms of safety and practicality. Uh, I've decided I really don't want to have to walk very far with molten metal, so this is about as close as I can get to the place I'll be pouring it. This is our right placement. Uh, I could put it on the other side, but I'm happy with that. And I'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll experiment and play around and I can obviously move, move these whenever they're not very heavy. Uh, I could hold this by myself. I had somebody else help me get it up some stairs, but I, you could probably do it on your own if you're strong. Uh, the other two are fairly light. This one has a handle. I can hold it with two, or I'm sorry, one hand. This has two handles. It's more comfortable to hold it with two hands, but you could probably get away with just so one handing it uh, if you really were that cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, all really high quality from what I can tell. These two had issues, the broken uh, crucible should still be operational, but it is broken nonetheless. And the, the broken vacuum stem uh, that attaches the plate, which I have been told I will hopefully soon be getting a new one. Uh, so we'll see how that goes and this looks just really high quality. No complaints. It came in good condition It looks really great. Definitely not been used before. I don't think any of them have but this just looks really nice It's really well made very sturdy. I'm really happy with that one uh, Yeah, I mean I have my Prusa mini uh, 3d printer. That's an FDM printer and then I have my Elugu Mars Pro there uh, which is a LCD UV printer uh, I have to get some wax resin and some wax filament. The wax filament, from what I've seen, is about $50 a spool, somewhere around there. The resin for this thing to do uh, investment casting, it is insanely expensive. It's about, from what I can tell, anywhere from 100 to $200 a liter, which is, it's crazy. Um, but I, mean, I, I decided to go down this road. I'll... I'll get some resin and some filament soon, along with the investment plaster, and I'll probably do some more videos about these individual machines and, of course, the entire process of, of making the different things I plan on making with this whole setup. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm happy with the machines. They all look pretty good, and I'll hopefully be able to get them all up and running soon. Uh, but yeah, so that's it pretty much for now i'll do some more updates once i get more, some more stuff in like like the wax and the the materials i'll be using uh, but yeah so thank you for watching my name is levi sheridan and i appreciate your interest bye